and this is the tangent. So, angle between tangent and a chord is equal to angle made by the same chord. Well, this, this chord is actually making two angles there. I just go back and then see. This ET makes an angle at D. I don't know the full angle at D. So, I look at the next angle that's 60, 65. So, that ET is actually making an angle at C which is 65. So, that should be 65 there. All right. Now, can we find that small angle there? Now, come on, that's a 40, right? Angle between tangent and chord, we need to apply again. ET makes an angle at D, that should be 65 full, right? We got 665 here. It's a 40, that should be 25. Okay, 25, please. So, many, many, many ways we can apply and I say in many, many ways we can solve this question. So, remember the rules because in the examination, they will actually ask you to find that missing angle for one or two marks and then they may ask you to give a reason, right? So, reasons are very important. So, whenever you find an angle, Think about it, how I got this angle, what rule did I apply, okay, and make a note of it. So, that's how you should solve, right. So, we finished eight uh, sheets, now we are looking at the ninth page, please. <clears throat> uh, on page nine, we have two questions, I think we have two sums there on page nine. Uh, let's take those two sums, right? Come on, we, we can do now because we know those rules. We have, we have learnt uh, three rules in this lesson and so far, so good, right? This is the question, please. That's a page nine. We got two sum sums there. I'm taking just the second sum there at the bottom. Now, tangent is there, so please go and write tangent. A, B is a tangent. So, tangent, that's done. Now, <clears throat> one more thing. In the examination, do not take any line that looks like a tangent as a tangent. Unless the question says so, you got to read the sum. If it says A, B line is a tangent, then you take that as a tangent. Well, in these sums, I did not really, really say, uh, I'm saying saying it now. So, AB is a tangent. So, please copy that down as a tangent. Then, immediately, we look at the radius. Well, we got the center point there and OB is the radius. Angle between tangent and radius is 90. That side also, the angle should be 90, please. Right? That much we, we did. What else can we do right now? After this, concentrate on, uh, we are finding the angle N first. Well, you, you can find P or N or M, you know, but you need to look at the maximum information. Look at the triangle DAM. Can I find this angle? No, because in this triangle, there are two unknowns. We cannot. So, let's go and see triangle O, B, A, right? Concentrate on triangle O, B, A, please. It's on the screen now. O, B, A, that's 90 there, watch. That's 90. This is 35. You can find that N, the angle N can be found, right? So, those two also add up to 90 there because some of the three angles should be 180. So, it's a 35, <clears throat> that should be 55 maybe, 55 and 560, 30, yes, that's a 55. So, right there, 55 please and you know the reason, right? Reason is, three angles of a triangle add up to 180. They are uh, some of the three angles of a triangle concept. Now, after that, <clears throat> look for 
Is there anything that you can do to find M now? Or that angle? Maybe, right? But let's just concentrate on P. How do you find P? Can you apply any, any rule that you have learned from part 1 or, or 2? The green cord BD is making an angle at the center. The green cord makes an angle at the center, please watch. That's 55. The same BD makes an angle on the top. C circumference, right? Now, angle at the circumference should be half of the angle at the center because both of them are made by the same chord, you see, right? So that P should be half of 55. Come on, 55 half. Make 50 half first, which is 25. Then you make the 2, uh, make the 5 also half. It's a 2 and a half. So the angle there should be 27 and a half, 27 and a half degrees. That particular angle should be 27 and a half. Now you think of M. Angle between tangent and the chord. That's M, right? The same chord is making an angle in the alternate segment, which is 27 and a half, please. Right? So M should be 27 and a half. The reason, tan chord rule. So M should be 27 and half. 